Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. In this quick and easy tutorial video, I will show you how to password protect and encrypt a folder on your Mac. Without further ado, let's get started. To protect a folder with a password on macOS, you must create an encrypted disk image .dmg using disk utility. Using this method will allow you to securely protect a folder with a password. Here is how to do that step by step. Step number one. Open Disk Utility app. Press Common Space to open Spotlight Search. Type Disk Utility and press Enter. Step number two. Create a new disk image. In Disk Utility, click on File in the menu bar. Select New Image. Then choose Image from Folder. Browse to the folder you want to protect. Select it and click Choose. Step number three. Configure disk image settings. In the dialog box that appears, you'll need to configure the following settings. Save as. Provide a name for the disk image file. Where. Choose where you want to save the disk image. .dmg file. Encryption. Select either 128-bit encryption, recommended for general use, or 256, more secure but slower. I will choose the 128 option. Image option. Choose Read-Write to be able to add or remove files from the disk image. After choosing the encryption type, a dialog box will appear, prompting you to enter a password. Enter a strong password and confirm it. Click Save, and Disk Utility will create the encrypted disk image. Wait for the process to complete. Once done, your folder is protected by the password you set. Congratulations, you have just created your password-protected disk image containing your files. To access the folder, double-click on the .dmg file. Enter the password when prompted. Make sure not to save the password in the Mac keychain, otherwise everyone else who uses this Mac will be able to access it. The disk image will mount like a drive on your desktop, and you will be able to access its contents like any other folder. You can even add and delete files. To secure it again, eject the mounted disk image by dragging it to the trash or using the eject button in Finder. To ensure the original folder with your data is not accessible without the password, you may want to delete it after verifying that the encrypted disk image works as expected. Make sure to remember your password, because losing it will mean losing access to all your encrypted data and files. Thanks for watching. Guys, I hope this tutorial was useful. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for even more tech-oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. See you later on YouTube. Bye-bye.